Be silent. Make everything flow to you effortlessly. Written by Justice O. Malcolm. Published by Audiobooks Office. Introduction. In today's hectic world, when noise pervades every aspect of our lives, Be Silent stands out as a haven of tranquility and knowledge. This book is a profound invitation to experience the unrivaled power of silence, not simply as the absence of sound, but as a dynamic force capable of attracting abundance, clarity, and calm to your life. The author's engaging and approachable voice walks you through the transforming journey of accepting stillness to unlock a state in which life's benefits flow easily towards you. Crafted with care and deep understanding, each chapter of the book unfolds the various dimensions of silence, its psychological benefits, its spiritual depth, and its practical application in everyday life. The author shares unique insights and personal stories, illustrating how cultivating moments of silence amidst our chaotic days can lead to profound changes in how we perceive the world, make decisions, and connect with our true selves. Be Silent equips you with practical guides and ideas designed to integrate silence into your life, regardless of your environment or schedule. From mindfulness practices that enhance your awareness to creating silent retreats in your daily spaces, the book offers a variety of accessible ways to harness the power of silence. As you dig deeper into the practice of being silent, you'll discover that it's not about withdrawing from the world, but about finding a more profound engagement with it. Silence becomes a magnet, drawing in serenity, insight, and an effortless flow of life's opportunities. This book doesn't just teach you how to be silent, it reveals how silence can transform your entire being, leading to a life filled with a deeper sense of fulfillment and ease. Be Silent is an essential book for anyone seeking to escape the noise and find a haven of clarity and abundance. It promises not only to change the way you relate to the external world, but also to unveil the vast expanses of potential within you, all waiting to be discovered in the quiet. Join this journey into silence and let everything you've ever wanted start flowing to you, effortlessly. Start by harnessing the power of silence. Let it enhance your cognitive abilities in decision-making. Cultivate inner peace and push away mental clutter. This inner peace will naturally attract your desires. Recognize your power to steer your thoughts towards positivity. Keep distractions at bay and focus. Practice gratitude daily, nurture self-compassion, and stay open to positivity and abundance. Trust your journey, align with your purpose for fulfilling attractions. Revel in the moments of silence for profound insights and strong relationships. As you progress, there's a wealth of wisdom awaiting you. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 75% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 The Power of Silence. While you might not often consider it, Harnessing the power of silence can truly transform your life, making you not only more aware but also more capable of attracting positivity and success. Silence isn't just the absence of noise. It's a powerful tool that you can use to enhance your cognitive abilities, improve your decision-making, and cultivate inner peace. Think about it. You're living in a world that's constantly buzzing with distractions. Social media, news, television, and even conversations can often become noise that drowns out your inner voice. But when you embrace silence, you're giving yourself a chance to listen to that inner voice, to gain clarity and perspective. Now, this doesn't mean you have to retreat to a mountain cave or take a vow of silence. It's about finding moments of quiet in your everyday life. This could be during your morning coffee, on your commute, or even just five minutes before you go to bed. This intentional silence allows you to focus, to recharge, and to connect deeply with yourself. The profound insights and ideas that can emerge from these quiet moments will surprise you. 
They can help you make better decisions, manage stress more effectively, and even improve your relationships. Chapter 2 Harnessing Energy Through Silence Harnessing energy through silence is a powerful strategy that you can master to enhance your overall well-being and productivity. It's not about merely quieting your surroundings, but fostering an internal silence that allows you to tap into a wellspring of potential energy. Imagine yourself as a vessel. The more you fill it with noise, both external and internal, the less room there's for anything else. But when you empty yourself of this noise, you create space for energy to flow. This energy, in turn, can be directed towards activities that matter most to you, boosting your productivity and enriching your life. So, how can you harness this energy? Start small. Dedicate a few minutes each day to sit in silence. It's okay if your mind wanders, let it, but bring your focus back to the silence whenever you can. You're not trying to force anything, you're simply allowing silence to exist. Next, try to extend this practice into everyday activities. Turn off the music during your commute. Disconnect from your phone for a while. Sit quietly with a cup of tea. You'll be surprised at how much more present and focused you become. Chapter 3 The Concept of Effortless Attraction Now, let's explore the concept of effortless attraction, an intriguing principle that suggests that when you create a silent, peaceful space within yourself, you naturally draw towards you the very things you desire. You see, life isn't always about chasing, hustling, or forcing things to happen. Sometimes it's about attracting, magnetizing, and letting things come to you. And that's exactly what effortless attraction is all about. Imagine yourself as a magnet. A magnet doesn't run around chasing iron filings. Instead, it stands still, strong, and silent, and the iron filings naturally gravitate towards it. Similarly, when you cultivate inner silence and peace, you become a magnet for your desires. You don't have to chase them, they'll come to you. But how do you become this magnet? It's simpler than you think. Start by creating a quiet space within yourself. This isn't just about physical silence, it's about mental and emotional silence too. Let go of the noise, the distractions, and the stressors. Embrace tranquility, stillness, and peace. Get comfortable with the sound of silence, the feel of stillness. It's in this space that you'll find your power. Next, clearly define what you want to attract. Be specific. Visualize it in your mind. Feel it in your heart. And then, let it go. Don't force it. Don't obsess over it. Trust that it will come to you when the time is right. That's the power of effortless attraction. You're not chasing, you're attracting. And it all starts with silence. Chapter 4 Finding Your Flow In the crucial domain of your mind, you'll uncover your rhythm, the state where everything aligns effortlessly and your desires begin to gravitate towards you. This rhythm, your unique flow, is like a river, steadily moving towards its destination. But how do you find your flow? First off, you need to recognize that you're not a passive observer in life. You're an active participant. It means you've got the power to steer your thoughts, emotions, and actions in the direction you want. You've got the power to find your flow. Next, get to know yourself. What are your passions? What are your talents? What makes you feel alive? This self-discovery process is essential because your flow is deeply intertwined with your authentic self. When you're doing what you love, when you are utilizing your innate abilities, you're in your flow. Then, pay attention to your energy. When are you most energized? When do you feel most focused? These are clues to when you're in your flow. Try to schedule your most important tasks during these times. You'll find things happening more smoothly and effortlessly. Furthermore, try to eliminate distractions. Your flow is a state of deep focus and concentration. Any form of distraction can disrupt it. So create an environment that's conducive for you to stay focused. Chapter 5. Cultivating Inner Peace Cultivating inner peace, a sanctuary of serenity within yourself, 
isn't just about quieting your mind, it's about aligning your heart, mind, and soul in a vital balance. You're not trying to silence your thoughts or emotions. Instead, you're learning to observe them without judgment. It's about accepting who you are, where you are, and what you're feeling. Start by taking a moment each day to just be still. Don't rush, don't multitask. Just breathe and be present. Feel the air entering your lungs, the earth beneath your feet, and the warmth of your own existence. This is your life, your moment. Own it. Next, learn to let go of the things you can't control. Yes, it's easier said than done, but it's essential for your inner peace. You're not responsible for everything around you, so don't carry unnecessary burdens. Let the universe take care of its own. Chapter 6. Connecting with Serenity Embracing tranquility, much like a long-lost companion, can open up a world of peace that's been waiting for you all along. This connection starts with acknowledging the presence of tranquility within and around you. It's not about revealing peace. It's about realizing it's already there. You've got to recognize that tranquility isn't a distant goal, but a present possibility. Start by setting aside quiet moments in your day where you can be alone with your thoughts. This isn't about doing, it's about being. During these moments, allow yourself to be still, to embrace silence, and to simply exist. Here, tranquility isn't just a concept, it's an experience. You're not chasing tranquility, you're immersing yourself in it. Next, cultivate an environment that nurtures tranquility. This could mean decluttering your workspace, creating a calming evening routine, or simply stepping away from the noise of the world for a while. Remember, tranquility isn't always about the absence of chaos, but about the presence of calm amidst it all. Chapter 7. Tuning into your breath. Breathing, a simple yet powerful act, offers an immediate path to tranquility when you mindfully tune into it. It's the one thing you always do, yet often overlook. Have you ever really noticed your breath? It's time to start. Tune into your breathing. It's a natural act that can become a potent tool for relaxation and focus. Begin by sitting comfortably. Close your eyes. Draw your attention inward and focus only on your breath. Feel the cool air rush through your nostrils, filling your lungs and expanding your chest and belly. Hold for a moment. Then exhale slowly, releasing the warm air from your body. Consider the sensations the rise and fall of your chest, the movement of air in and out, and the beat of your life force. It's not about changing or controlling your breath, rather. It's about noticing and appreciating it. It's about tapping into a constant, calming rhythm that's always there, beneath the surface of your busy mind. Every breath you take can become a moment of peace, a refuge from the external chaos. Tuning into your breath is a stepping stone to deeper self-awareness and inner peace. It's an easy, practical technique that you can use anytime, anywhere. With time and practice, you'll find it becomes a natural part of your day. Your breath is powerful. Start using it to your advantage. As you tune into your breath, you'll find tranquility will flow to you effortlessly. It's a silent practice, but its effects can be transformative. Chapter 8. Releasing Mental Clutter Clearing your mind's clutter is the next important step towards effortless tranquility. It's like tidying up a room you can't fully appreciate its beauty until the mess is gone. Think of your thoughts as objects in a room. Some are useful, some are not, and some are just taking up precious space. Start by observing your thoughts. Don't judge them, don't engage with them, just notice them. This mindfulness will help you recognize what's weighing you down. Is it worry? Regret? Fear? Identifying these distractions is the first step to letting them go. Next, visualize each distracting thought as a leaf floating down a stream. Don't try to stop the leaf or change its course. Just watch it drift away. This simple visualization can help you detach from your thoughts, releasing their hold on you. Remember, the goal isn't to stop thinking. It's to choose which thoughts deserve your attention. 
Concentrate on thoughts that make you happy, peaceful, and inspired. Let the rest float away. Don't be hard on yourself if you find this difficult at first. Like any skill, it takes practice. But each time you release a distracting thought, you're decluttering your mind, creating space for tranquility and clarity. Releasing mental clutter is a liberating journey. It's not about controlling your thoughts, but about not letting them control you. With patience and practice, you'll find yourself moving closer to the state of effortless tranquility that you desire. And remember, the less clutter there's in your mind, the more room there's for the things that truly matter. Chapter 9 Embodying Presence Now that you've cleared your mind of clutter, it's time to fully inhabit the present moment, embracing what it truly means to be here and now. This isn't just about noticing your surroundings, but about truly living in the present, feeling and experiencing every second as it passes. Begin by taking a deep breath, then exhale, letting go of any remaining thoughts or worries. Feel your body, the weight of your feet on the ground, the air against your skin. Listen to the sounds around you, the distant hum of traffic or the gentle rustle of leaves. Smell the air, whether it's the crisp scent of morning or the inviting aroma of dinner cooking. Taste the flavor of the coffee on your tongue or the sweetness of the fruit you're eating. Now, close your eyes and take another deep breath, letting your senses guide you into the present. You're not just observing your environment but truly being in it. Keep your focus in the present moment. If your thoughts begin to wander, gently draw them back to the present. Chapter 10 Inviting Ease and Grace As you immerse yourself in the present, you'll begin to recognize a newfound sense of ease and grace in your life. These aren't merely esoteric concepts, they're tangible feelings that can be experienced in your daily routines, interactions, and thoughts. They're the result of embracing silence and being present, leading to a life that flows effortlessly. Ease and grace don't just happen, you invite them into your life. Start by acknowledging their existence and their potential presence in your life. It's like opening your front door and inviting in a cherished friend. Once you've extended the invitation, anticipate their arrival. Look for ease and grace in your daily life. You'll find them in the simplest moments of baby's laughter, the rustling of leaves, or a shared smile with a stranger. Furthermore, invite ease and grace into your thought process. When faced with a challenge, don't immediately resort to stress or worry. Instead, ask yourself, how can I approach this with ease or what would be the most graceful way to handle this situation by doing so? You're not just inviting ease and grace into your life, you're making them a habit, a part of your thought process. Chapter 11 Surrendering to the Moment Embrace the power of now and surrender to the moment, for it's in this space that you'll discover the beauty and tranquility of life flowing effortlessly. This isn't about giving up or admitting defeat, it's about acknowledging the reality of the present and allowing yourself to fully experience it. Your mind may want to dart to the past or future, but it's your job to gently bring it back to the now. The more you practice this, the easier it becomes and the more peace and clarity you'll find. You might worry that by focusing on the now, you're ignoring your responsibilities or not planning for the future. Not so. You're simply choosing to live fully in this moment where life actually happens. So how do you surrender to the moment? Start by noticing your surroundings. Feel the chair beneath you, the air on your skin, the sounds in your environment. This isn't about judging or analyzing. It's about observing and accepting. It's about being fully present and engaged. Next, notice your thoughts. Are they focused on the here and now or are they somewhere else? If they've wandered, gently guide them back. This isn't about forcing or fighting, it's about guiding and allowing. Lastly, surrender to the feelings that arise. Don't push them away or cling to them, just let them be. They're part of your experience and they deserve your full attention. Remember, surrendering to the moment is a practice. It might be challenging at first, but with time, 
it becomes natural and rewarding. Chapter 12 Embracing the Unknown After mastering the art of surrendering to the moment, you'll find yourself standing on the edge of a vast, unexplored territory the unknown. This can be a challenging experience, but it's also an opportunity for growth. Embracing the unknown isn't about rushing headlong into danger. Rather, it's about accepting the unpredictability of life with open arms. Think of it as an adventure. You're like an explorer charting new territories. Yes, there are risks, but there are also rewards. The unknown is where you'll find new opportunities, new experiences, and new insights. It's where you'll have the chance to learn and grow. Start by letting go of your fears. Fear is an understandable reaction to uncertainty, but it does not have to control you. Remember, fear is just a feeling. It's not a prediction of what'll happen. You can acknowledge your fear without letting it stop you from moving forward. Next, cultivate a sense of curiosity. Approach the unknown with a sense of wonder and excitement. Ask questions, explore different possibilities, and keep an open mind. This will help you see the unknown not as a threat, but as a source of potential. Chapter 13 Trusting the Process Amidst the turbulent journey of life, it's crucial to trust the process, understanding that each step you take, whether smooth or rocky, is guiding you towards your ultimate destination. It's about acknowledging that every experience, no matter how challenging, is there to teach you something, to mold you into the person you're meant to be. Don't let impatience deter you. It's easy to become frustrated when things don't go your way, when your plans fall apart, when you're thrown off course. But remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Enjoy every step. Savor the moments, both good and bad, for they're all part of your unique story. Trust in the universe, trust in yourself. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. You're part of something bigger, a grand design where everything happens for a reason. Sometimes it's only when we look back that we can see the bigger picture, understand the lessons learned and appreciate how far we've come. Chapter 14. Aligning with your purpose. As you continue to trust the trip, it is equally crucial to align yourself with your purpose, the compass that guides your actions and decisions so that everything flows to you smoothly. Your purpose isn't an essential, far-off concept that's ingrained in your daily life, in the things you're most drawn to and passionate about. Your task is to recognize it, embrace it, and let it guide you. Begin by understanding what is actually important to you. What are the activities, ideas, or causes that ignite your passion? These are clues to your purpose. They're not random, they're aligned with your core values and innate talents. Recognize them as crucial components of your life's blueprint. Next, start making decisions that honor your purpose. This doesn't mean drastic, overnight changes. It's about making small, consistent choices that align with your purpose. If you're passionate about helping others, perhaps you could volunteer in your spare time. If you love writing, dedicate a few hours a week to it. It's as simple as that. Finally, trust that aligning with your purpose will make things flow effortlessly to you. When you're operating from a place of authenticity and passion, you become a magnet for opportunities that reflect your purpose. You'll find that the right people, resources, and circumstances will naturally gravitate towards you. In aligning with your purpose, you're not only embracing your true self, you're also allowing everything to flow to you effortlessly. It's a powerful step towards a fulfilling, effortless life. Chapter 15 Flowing with Intention Harnessing the power of intention can transform the way you interact with the world, guiding you to flow with purpose and precision. Intention isn't just about setting goals or making plans. It's about aligning your deepest desires and values with your daily actions and choices. It's a powerful inner compass that directs your energy and attention towards what truly matters to you. You can cultivate intention in your life by first becoming clear about what you want, what your deepest desires, 
What truly brings you joy, peace, and fulfillment? Once you've identified these, write them down. Visualize them. Allow them to permeate your consciousness until they become a part of you. Next, start your day with your intentions in mind. Before you jump into your daily tasks, take a moment to align yourself with your intentions. Visualize yourself moving through your day with ease, guided by your intentions. This easy technique will help you stay focused and on track. Chapter 16 Nurturing Self-Compassion In your journey towards effortless flow, it's important to cultivate a deep sense of self-compassion, allowing yourself the grace to be human, make mistakes, and grow at your own pace. Understand that the path to a life of serenity isn't a race, but a personal journey that unfolds at your own unique rhythm. Embrace the fact that you're a work in progress, and it's okay to stumble or falter at times. Self-compassion is about being kind to yourself, even when things don't go as planned. It's about acknowledging your feelings without judgment and allowing yourself to experience them fully. When you make a mistake, instead of berating yourself, remind yourself that it's a part of learning and growing. Extend the same understanding and forgiveness to yourself that you'd offer a dear friend. Moreover, it's essential to establish a nurturing inner dialogue. Pay attention to how you talk to yourself. Replace self-criticism with words of encouragement and support. Whenever you catch yourself being harsh, take a moment to breathe, reframe your thoughts, and speak to yourself with kindness. Lastly, remember that self-compassion isn't a one-time deal but a continuous process. It's not about achieving perfection but about embracing your imperfections with love and acceptance. Nurture this compassion daily and you'll find it easier to navigate your journey towards that effortless flow. Remember, it's your journey and you have the power to make it a compassionate one. Chapter 17 Practicing Gratitude Daily Embracing a daily practice of gratitude can greatly enhance your journey towards achieving an effortless flow in life. Instead of focusing on the things you're lacking, shift your attention to the blessings you already possess. The beauty of gratitude is that it fosters positivity, and it's a proven fact that positive people attract more positivity into their lives. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to reflect on what you're thankful for. This could be anything from the roof over your head, the food on your table, to the love of your family and friends. Write these down in a gratitude journal. It doesn't have to be elaborate or time-consuming. It's the act of recognition and appreciation that matters. Remember, it's not just about the big things. The small, everyday moments count too. Perhaps you're grateful for a beautiful sunrise, a kind word from a stranger, or a relaxing cup of tea. The more you practice, the easier it will become to spot these moments of gratitude in your daily life. Practicing gratitude daily isn't just about feeling good, it's about rewiring your brain to focus on the positive aspects of your life. It's about shifting your perspective to one of abundance, rather than lack. This shift will make you more receptive to the flow of good things coming your way. Chapter 18 Opening Your Heart Just as you've learned to appreciate life's blessings, it's equally important to open your heart, allowing positivity and abundance to flow into your life effortlessly. This isn't just about being open to new experiences or opportunities, but also about being vital, accepting your emotions, and letting them guide you. It's about breaking down walls that might be holding you back and embracing the full spectrum of your emotional life. Opening your heart is a process, and it's not always easy. It requires you to confront fears, insecurities, and past hurts. But remember, it's in the challenges we face that we grow the most. So don't be afraid to face your emotions head-on. Self-awareness is an essential first step. Begin by observing your emotions without judgment. Acknowledge them, let them be, and then let them go. With time, you'll learn to appreciate the insights they provide about yourself and the world around you. Next, practice empathy. Put yourself in other people's shoes and try to understand their feelings and perspectives. 
This won't only improve your relationships but also help you to better understand your own emotions. Chapter 19 Embracing Change As you open your heart and become more attuned to your emotions, you'll find that change, often seen as intimidating, can become an exhilarating part of your journey towards effortless abundance. Embracing change isn't about being reckless or whimsical. It's about seeing the opportunities that lie within the unfamiliar and stepping out of your comfort zone. It's recognizing that the only constant in life is change itself and using it as a catalyst on your path to personal growth. Start by acknowledging that change is inevitable. It's a part of life, and it's something you can't avoid. Instead of resisting it, welcome it. Think of it as an adventure a chance to learn something new, to expand your horizons. Then, shift your perspective. Instead of viewing change as a threat, see it as an opportunity. Every change brings with it new possibilities. Embrace it, and you'll find the strength and the courage to adapt, to grow, to evolve. Chapter 20. Letting Life Unfold Allow life to unfold naturally trusting that each moment and experience contributes to your journey towards effortless abundance. You don't have to force things or push against the current of life to make it happen. Instead, adopt an attitude of acceptance and learn to flow with life's rhythm. This is not about giving up or becoming passive. It is about recognizing the power of surrender and the magic that occurs when you stop resisting and begin accepting. Consider a river. It doesn't struggle or strain to reach its destination. It simply flows, gently carving its path, accepting every turn and obstacle as part of its journey. Be like the river. Embrace the twists and turns of your life as opportunities for growth and learning. Let go of the need to control every detail and trust in the wisdom of the universe. As you apply this approach, you'll find that life becomes more manageable and less stressful you'll discover a greater sense of peace and contentment, and you'll attract more of what you desire with less effort. You'll become more attuned to the opportunities and blessings that life presents to you, often in the most unexpected ways. Chapter 21 Honoring Your Truth To honor your truth, you must first acknowledge and embrace who you truly are, accepting your strengths, weaknesses, desires, and everything that makes you unique. This isn't about trying to fit into a mold or attempting to be someone else's version of perfect. It's about respecting your individuality and celebrating your uniqueness. You can't honor your truth if you're constantly comparing yourself to others. Everyone's experience is unique, so what works for one person may not work for you. Embrace your path. It's yours, and it's beautiful in its own way. Start by identifying your values those core beliefs that guide your decisions and behaviors. What do you stand for? What matters most to you? Your values are your compass, guiding you towards decisions that align with who you truly are. Next, acknowledge your desires. It's okay to want things, to have goals and dreams. These desires are a part of who you are. But remember, desires aren't demands. They're simply possibilities, opportunities to grow and evolve. Finally, accept your weaknesses. We all have them. They don't make you less, they make you human. And in acknowledging them, you'll find strength. Because when you know your weaknesses, you can work on them, transform them, and even turn them into strengths. To honor your truth is to live authentically, unapologetically, confidently. It's a journey that starts within and radiates outwards, influencing every aspect of your life. So honor your truth and watch as everything begins to flow to you effortlessly. Chapter 22 Resonating with Abundance Once you've started honoring your truth, you'll find it easier to resonate with the vibration of abundance. This doesn't mean you'll instantly become a millionaire. Instead, it suggests you'll start to feel an inner sense of richness and a greater appreciation for the abundance that already exists in your life. How do you resonate with abundance? You start by acknowledging what you already have. Look around you. Your health, relationships, experiences, and even the challenges you've overcome are all a part of your wealth. 
recognize them, appreciate them, and let gratitude fill your heart. Next, visualize abundance. Picture what it looks like, feels like, even smells like. The more you can imagine it, the more you can attract it. This isn't about wishful thinking. It's about aligning your thoughts and emotions with the energy of abundance. Then, practice abundance. Give freely, without expectation of return. Be generous with your time, your knowledge, and your resources. The more you give, the more you'll receive. Finally, trust in abundance. Believe in the limitless potential of the universe and in your own ability to receive. Doubt and fear can block abundance, while trust and faith invite it in. Resonating with abundance isn't a one-time event. It's a daily practice, a shift in mindset, a new way of living. It requires patience, dedication, and belief. But once you start, you'll find that abundance isn't something you seek. It's something you attract. And it all starts with honoring your truth. Chapter 23 Radiating Positivity Just as a lighthouse radiates light, you too can radiate positivity, illuminating your path and those of others around you. Positivity isn't just a buzzword, it's a powerful force that impacts your well-being and influences your interactions with others. Start every day by greeting yourself with a smile in the mirror, affirming your worth, your capabilities, and your resilience. This simple gesture plants the seed of positivity within, which will gradually grow and shine outward. Remember, you're not just doing this for yourself. Your positive energy can be infectious, uplifting those around you. It's like throwing a pebble into a pond, the ripples spread out, touching everything in their path. Be that pebble, be that source of positive energy. Nurturing positivity requires conscious effort. Surround yourself with uplifting influences, read inspiring books, listen to empowering podcasts, engage with optimistic individuals. You're a product of your environment, so make it a positive one. Practicing gratitude is another potent tool. Count your blessings, not your burdens. This habit shifts your focus from what's wrong to what's right in your life, filling you with a sense of fulfillment and happiness. And remember, Positivity doesn't mean ignoring life's difficulties. It means facing them with a hopeful perspective, believing you can overcome, and seeing challenges as opportunities for growth. You have the power to radiate positivity. Cherish it, nurture it, and watch as it transforms your life and the lives around you. It's your light to shine, your gift to share. So go ahead, radiate positivity, and light the way for others. Chapter 24 Embracing the flow. Life's river is constantly flowing, and it's your chance to immerse yourself, embracing the current instead of opposing it. Don't waste energy fighting against the stream. Instead, surrender to its course. This isn't about giving up or admitting defeat. It's about acknowledging that there are some things you can't control, and it's okay. It's about accepting the reality and working with it, not against it. Embracing the flow means to be present, be in the moment. It's about letting go of past regrets and future anxieties. When you're fully present, you're in the best position to handle whatever life throws at you. You're more receptive, open and aware. You're not distracted by what ifs or should haves. You're here, you're now, and that's all that matters. It's also about being flexible. Rigidity only leads to frustration and disappointment when things don't go your way. But when you're flexible, you're adaptable. You can adjust to changes, navigate through obstacles, and continue to move forward. Ironically, it's in silence that the most profound transformations occur. So shush now, release, immerse into the calm within, and let everything effortlessly flow your way. Honor your truth, resonate with abundance, and radiate positivity. Embrace the paradoxical power of silence and watch as the universe conspires to bring you what you desire. Remember, it's not about pushing hard but about being in harmony with your flow. So let silence be your guide and let the magic unfold. 
Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.